Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is Ukrainian farmers have been forced to neglect their fields as millions flee, fight or try to stay alive. Ports are shut down that send wheat and other food staples worldwide to be made into bread, noodles and animal feed. And there are worries Russia, another agricultural powerhouse, could have its grain exports upended by Western sanctions. While there have not yet been global disruptions to wheat supplies, prices have surged 55% since a week before the invasion amid concerns about what could happen next. If the war is prolonged, countries that rely on affordable wheat exports from Ukraine could face shortages starting in July, International Grains Council Director Arno Petty told the Associated Press. That could create food insecurity and throw more people into poverty in places like where diets are dominated by government-subsidized bread. In Europe, officials are preparing for potential shortages of products from Ukraine and increased prices for livestock feed that could mean more expensive meat and dairy if farmers are forced to pass along costs to customers. Russia and Ukraine combined for nearly a third of the world's wheat and barley exports. Ukraine also is a major supplier of corn and a global leader in sunflower oil, used in food processing. The war could reduce food supplies just when prices are at their highest levels since 2011. A prolonged conflict would have a big impact some 2,400 kilometers away in Egypt, the world's largest wheat importer. Millions rely on subsidized bread made from Ukrainian grains to survive, with about a third of people living in poverty. Wars mean shortages, and shortages mean price hikes, Ahmed Salah, a 47-year-old father of seven, said in Cairo. Any hikes will be catastrophic not only for me, but for the majority of the people. Anna Nagoni, a professor of supply chains, logistics and economics at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, said wheat, corn, oils, barley, flour are extremely important to food security. Especially in the poorer parts of the globe. With Ukrainian men being called on to fight, she said, who's going to be doing the harvesting? What be doing the transportation? Egypt's state procurer of wheat, which normally buys heavily from Russia and Ukraine, had to cancel two orders in less than a week, one for overpricing, the other because a lack of companies offered to sell their supplies. Sharp spikes in the cost of wheat globally could severely affect Egypt's ability to keep bread prices at their current subsidized level. Bread is extremely heavily subsidized in Egypt, and successive governments have found that cuts to those subsidies are the one straw that should be kept off the camel's back at all costs, Marette Maybrook, a senior fellow at the Middle East Institute, wrote in a recent analysis. War-ravaged Syria recently announced it would cut spending and ration staples, in nearby Lebanon, where a massive explosion at the Beirut port in 2020 destroyed the country's main grain silos. Authorities are scrambling to make up for a predicted wheat shortage, with Ukraine providing 60% of its supply. They are in talks with the US, India and Canada to find other sources for a country already in financial meltdown. All of us need to look elsewhere in the future, said Tope Ogan with Honeywell Flour Mills Placed, one of Nigeria's biggest flour milling companies. We might not get what we need to, and there is likely going to be an increase in the price. Nigeria has taken pains to reduce its reliance on Russian grains, with farmers moving to plant more wheat fields to try to meet 70% of the country's demand in five years, said Gambo Sale, National Secretary of the Wheat Farmers Association of Nigeria. We have the land, we have the people, we have the money, we have whatever we can need in Nigeria to grow wheat, he said. All we need now is time. Once the items stored are sold, we will see an increase in prices of these items, he said. We will likely purchase alternatives from Turkey, and Turkey will no doubt take advantage of the situation in Ukraine and raise its prices. Farmers in the United States, the world's leading corn exporter and a major wheat supplier, are watching to see if U.S. wheat exports spike. In the European Union, farmers are concerned about rising costs for livestock feed. Ukraine supplies the EU with just under 60% of its corn and nearly half of a key component in the grains needed to feed livestock. Russia, which provides the EU with 40% of its natural gas needs, is similarly a major supplier of fertilizer, wheat and other staples. In the first two days of Russia's assault on Ukraine, the price of grain for animal feed jumped 10% on the open market in Spain. We are facing a moment of very elevated costs, and we don't know what lies ahead, Mr. Bernie said. This is another cost of waging a war in the 21st century, that is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.